the special kota gede silver is in repose developed on 16th century before Yogyakarta kingdom repose means carve the repose in kota gede is very beautiful and it doesn't exist in anywhere else my name is Priyo my family is silver business it started from my grandma so it's my duty to develop this uh, repose technique and then I develop it in, in, in a design every percent I love it uh, because I do it by my heart In 1888, when there is an uh, economic crisis in Indonesia, the price of the material double, double, double like that. So every people could not uh, afford this uh, rise of the price of the silver and many silver home industry bankrupt because of it. But for the people who could only sell the, uh, the product in Indonesia, it's very difficult time. It's still a difficult time for them. Actually, all the people production is for export, like for my, my company. Uh, maybe only 5% or 10% which is uh, bought by Indonesian, but 90% we send it to outside. If the consumer just like to buy the cheap thing, like the something cheap, not something uh, silver, or something has no art on it, it doesn't support uh, the business of silver. Like if the parent doesn't teach the young generation about the value of the culture, of the art, of the repose, or uh, the, the silver craftsmanship, the young generation doesn't care about it. There is still one shop who still keep uh, the old, old silver. But this year, they close their shops because now the president doesn't buy any more for the silver souvenir. They send to Kota Gede and to melt it down all. I have already said to all my friends who want to buy it that nobody wants to buy it because they don't care about it anymore. At the time, we lost us all the heritage. Yeah, this is the problem. The most important is I still use traditional technique. But because if we are still using a traditional design or something like that, we can sell it. So we combine between the traditional and modern. Yo, my name is Surya and I'm founder of Suda Silver Jewelry Company. My idea is inspired from signet ring. First ring I met can like a diamond side, but with silver, not with real diamond. Second ring I still remember Misfit logo. Because I grew up in, in art and music and WhatsApp culture, so all my design is inspired by. I like a work with artists, they can appreciate our work. When I start, I'm my first semester of university, it's so hard. My family first they didn't believe what I did. Family, my friend just say, why, why you do silver? It's not good for money, they just say like that. But I'm study art and I just thinking how to combine the silver. It's not only for wearing, I just think it could be some kind of artwork. But, and the another young generation in, in Kodak days, I think they don't want to do silver smithing because they just thinking the salary is too poor or something like that. Actually, the salary is not poor if you are know about art, 
marketing and design so you can combine them then sell it in a good price. Indonesian people say it's expensive. That's the reason why I make a video and make some how we do it. But we have a few customers from Jakarta, Bali, Bandung. We have been doing many projects, international or national. We have uh, do many collaboration with an artist. Many people from car club, motorcycle club, streetwear artist, designer. The artist effect is very good in our order because when they post, we get uh, many followers and many orders. And now we are doing a like, project for trophy for Piala President and we're gonna start tomorrow. When there is a difficult era like that, only the company who could sell export still survive. I will keep the reposé technique survive in Kota Gede. This is my vision. Because if there is no people who develop, there is no people who are creative to develop the product, then uh, the culture is stopped. This is part of our, my culture in Kota Gede. Because I have to continue the culture from the past to continue again to make it live again. <laughs>